What's up, everyone? We're going to do another spree breakdown here today. Uh, this is going to be of Trayvon Bromel, uh, the guy from Baylor. He broke the world junior record of running a 997 100 meter dash, which is absolutely flying. Um, and, and we're just going to do some breakdowns, kind of go over some of the stuff that, that looks like he does really well. I mean, compared to some of the other guys that are, are going through the race. Really, you know, there's a lot of different ways to succeed. So I don't want to get too caught up in, you know, this is the one right way to do it. Because, you know, I think we all have the ability to um, put our own little spice into our, our ability to achieve whatever movement is. Whether it's running, sprinting, um, throwing swinging, all those other things are a little bit different that we're all going to be able to, to add to the table. Um, what we really want to do is just give you some insight into how you can get a little bit better into your own form. So the big thing that, that Trayvon does is he has a very good ability to get full range of motion in those hips. And, he, and you could really see one of the important things that we've been talking about a lot lately is that when you push off the ground, you really want to create that good vertical force. And you can see how well he does that when he's pushing off the ground here. He's basically pushing straight up, and by doing that, he could push that heel up to his butt just very fast. And that's something that I, I see a lot with runners is that they have a hard time getting that heel to their but that quickly, and that makes it so then when they transition through here, it just happens later. So that, that leg will come through, um, and you can watch how this right leg touches, and when that right leg touches, his knee is already um, beginning its transition past that, that down leg, and that gives him a better ability to get that knee up. Okay, so a lot of times what I see is that people get stuck trying to get their heel up to their butt, so then when they land, their knee is behind, their, uh, the, the up knee, which would be this left knee, is behind the right knee. Well, when that right, then when that's behind, now you don't have as much of ability to get that, that off knee up in the air. Okay, and so what he does really good, as you can see, is gets that heel right up to the butt. Now he can get that knee up faster, and now he's transitioning his weight through and he's pushing off. And when he's pushing off, that opposite side knee is already really high up into knee flexion. He's in a good position there. Additionally, watch his hip. Right, so when he's pushing off the ground, he's really driving that hip through. See how good of a hip extension he is, he's getting into, and how it, it's going from that hip almost pointing down into now it's pointing up. That's really good hip extension. That's using a lot of the glutes, which is excellent. Okay, and we can see that same type of thing where he's doing a good job of getting that knee through already when his foot touches the ground and then transitioning from from there okay another thing that he's not doing very much of is when his legs coming through i always give the cue that you want to be picturing yourself running on more of a uh, train track not of a type rope so you can see where his right foot or sorry his left foot's going to land here in comparison to where his left foot landed beforehand very much in the same line okay what, what a lot of times happen is, is that you know, people are landing in a position, they're, they're crossing over their legs, or they're landing with the legs too far out to the side, so they're wasting motion because each one of their steps aren't right in front of the other step. The way to, you know, really increase your speed is to be very, very efficient with your speed and not waste a lot of time going either inside or outside with your steps. So you can see that knee drive, his knees coming straight all the way up and through, pressing straight out there, um, and landing right underneath his body. Okay, that's a very, very good job making sure that everything nice and stays nice and straight throughout the movement okay I think those are two very important things to focus on okay let's make sure that your your foot is landing one um, or, or it's continuing to stand to land right in front of uh, the last time you took a step if you're trying to increase your speed because if you're you know falling too far inside which I commonly see where you know the the step is falling inside of your last step then you have a problem and you're not being as efficient okay that's a, a, a big one and the other thing is after you press off get that heel to your butt really really quickly and then try to hold that heel to your butt as you're transitioning through so you want that heel to your butt to to be there um again really fast so then you have the ability to really drive that knee up and extend out with that with that off leg okay um so when you push off the ground drive that heel up um, really try to get that vertical force and then go into that that long extension and really try to lengthen out your stride Okay, those are I think two big things that that Trayvon does really well that makes it so he can do You know what he did which is run 997 and beat the the world record for you know the fastest sprinter Okay, a couple things to work on, you know check out some of our other other sprinting vi videos I think we got some great information there to help you run faster. I think that's something that everybody's trying to do 
Um, so yeah, check that out. I think that'll really help you out. Uh, and if you have any questions, please send me an email. My, name, my uh, email is maury at yourperformancelab.com or check out you know Instagram, Facebook. We have all those things. Check out our other YouTube videos. We also have an online membership that can help you get faster as well, have exercises and um, information for that. So check us out and um, look forward to, hearing, or to uh, do another breakdown here soon.